Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review just for you and just for Anthony. Anthony tweeted out the Dirty Bird is the place to eat when you're downtown Toronto. So while in Toronto, I thought I'd stop by the Dirty Bird on Bloor Street West and give it a shot. So I ordered the ODB, which is the original Dirty Bird, which is a waffle, chicken leg, and thigh, and a bottle of Coke, and it came to $20.34. Let me know if there's a chicken and waffle place near you. You get a knife and fork, that's what they gave me, a ketchup, a couple condoms, <laughs> just kidding, handy wipes. All right guys, let's open this up. It smells interesting, I'm not sure, I guess the box is, I'm smelling cardboard and waffle at the moment. You know what it smells like? It smells like when I used to deliver pizza back in the day and just the smell that's coming out of the pizza box. Not that it smells like pizza, but it has that cardboard, food in a cardboard box kind of smell. Wow. Woo! Let's go in for a close-up. Now there is an extreme close-up of this waffle and chicken. I thought the waffle was going to be under the chicken. I guess maybe I have to do the work. I'm going to have to somehow put it together in pieces. Uh, we've got some sauce here. I guess that's their special sauce. That is, I think I ordered the potato salad. I guess under this is the syrup. So we got our syrup down below. So let's put this together and give it a shot and chow down. So this looks like one of those meals that you should be eating inside the restaurant on a big, big plate. Let's just do a little salad taste test. Potato salad. Not too much uh, mayonnaise, just the right amount of uh, onion. And the potatoes are obviously cooked well, cooked to perfection. Let's get into the chicken though. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. I'm guessing I gotta build this waffle. I'm gonna have to put the waffle down. Yeah, this is gonna be a disaster. It's gonna probably start eating away through the box. Okay guys, as you can see, I've put my chicken on the waffle. Ooh la la. I'm gonna get our sauce. Again, I don't know how, I've never eaten this before like this. So, never done it in my car either. Ooh la la. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this on. I guess we drizzle that on our chicken. Yeah, yeah, taste test. A little spicy. Sweet, tangy, and with a little <coughs> kick, just like that. Also got the bottle of Coke. They offered to open it for me inside, but I, uh, but I forgot. So here we go with the maple syrup. Oh yeah, look at that. I think that's real maple syrup, people, as opposed to um, that sweetened syrup stuff that's not maple. From real maple trees. Oh, is that spicy too? Let's try that again. Something's up. Or is it because I used the same spoon? It's because I used the same spoon. Duh! Let's put our syrup right onto that chicken and waffles. Oh my goodness. Oh my... My only complaint at the moment will be, I don't think I have enough syrup. So let's give it a shot. This, this is not recommended to be eating in your car, people. Okay, well, this looks like amazing uh, deep fried chicken. Let's dig, dig into that thigh. Let's get some of the waffle. Oh boy. All right, we got some deep fried chicken, some waffle, sauce, and syrup. Let's do it. Mmm. That chicken is fantastic. The hot sauce. That's weird. Hot sauce, syrup, chicken, waffle. That doesn't make sense at all, but it is working amazing. I'm gonna make sure I get some skin this time. So we got some breading and skin. Oh boy, look at this bite, people. I need to hold it on with my little floppy knife that they gave me. Here we go. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna drip. Scratch it, sniff it. <laughs> the rest is mine. Thanks, Anthony. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Anthony, you were not kidding. That is absolutely fantastic. Wow. 
Like I said, guys, the chicken is cooked to perfection. Whatever breading they put on there is fantastic. Crispy, crunchy, savory, and then you put that sauce on. Their special sauce that they won't tell me anything about. I asked what was in it, and he said, they won't tell you. And I said, okay, I'll just eat it then. And then put the uh, syrup on top of that, fantastic. I'm gonna give a special shout out bite to anybody who watches my videos in the city of Toronto. This one's for you. Please, please come and try the Dirty Bird. Mmm. Oh my. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. I can't stop. Okay guys, I am gonna polish this off for all my fellow Trontonians and Anthony. Here we go, hang on. Still lots more. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Close enough! All right, before we rate that, that these, these handy naps are gonna come in very handy for the fact that my hands are all sticky. Even though I was using a knife and fork, I managed to get syrupy, saucy, saucy syrupies all over my hands. Thank you very much for giving me a couple handy wipes. That was fantastic. Okay, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give the Dirty Bird ODB a go out and get it now. Plus, it was that good. Way to go, Dirty Bird in Toronto. I am so full. And thank you very much, Anthony, for sending me that tweet about this restaurant. I'm so glad I had a chance. Next time I come to Toronto, I think I might try the Dirty Bird once again. If you love these videos and you wanna see more and you don't wanna miss a thing, hit the subscribe button somewhere on the screen or in the description below. But if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. The OBD, the O, D, B, the original Dirty Bird. <laughs> Did it go in? I can't get that in there. If I say fantastic one more time, I'm gonna throw up. Please hit the subscribe button. It's in the, it's on here somewhere and it's in the description. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later, bye.